Okay, try this again. Hello, YouTube. Terry McClellan, first from the line. Yeah, I uh, had a video going, but I lost it. Anyways, I'm on one of my uh, bush trails. As you can see, I'm on my snowshoes. And uh, I'm checking a couple sets back here in the bush. Um, this skidoo trail that me and my father-in-law cut a few years ago. This will take me back to a lake called Burr Lake. Um, I, uh, I usually get a couple Martin out of this area. As you can see, nothing yet. I just checked one trap. I'm on my second one now. And it uh, doesn't seem like anything there right now. No, nothing there. But yeah, so I'll go have a look. I'll take in there to show you what I got. So yeah, so I just go up to a, a deadfall, put a box on it. I think everybody else is probably the same. Put a box on it and uh, put a trap in it and just hopefully they smell the, the lure or the bait. They come in and uh, have a peek. But yeah, pretty simple set. Uh, I know people have caught uh, have caught uh, wolverines in this kind of set. This isn't meant for wolverine. If I was to catch if a wolverine came and stuck his paw in there, I would never hold him. Uh, my wire is not thick enough. Um, so saying that, a friend of mine said you should always put a heavier gauge wire on your Martin boxes. So haven't done that yet, um, but uh, he is right. Uh, he's right because if a wolverine was to put in there, at least he, when you get here, he'd, he, there's a chance he'd be still be still be here with his hold with his paw but they'll twist and twist and twist until they break it anyway but um yeah so that's a martin box uh that a style that i use you can see i got a bit of quite a bit of snow here um i'm gonna clean it up but uh i just wanted to show you guys what else i do sorry again it's my my hand um uh, stay safe and see you down the line